Here is the rear end in the Chevette. Had it narrowed. This is not the original rear end. This is another 8.8 that we went and bought because it was cheaper to buy a different one with the gears I wanted than it would have been to buy gears for mine. So this is one out of an Explorer. It's got disc brakes. It's got 373s and a limited slip. Had it cut down and narrowed, got it back, and it was still too wide, so we had it narrowed again. That's why it's been a while since I made a video, because it's just been waiting on things to come back. Got that uh, tape down there, is kind of visualizing where my lower control arms are going to be <clears throat> on this car. Got the tires in there, sitting pretty much where they need to be gonna look pretty good I think this is how far we've got so far I've got this brace that we're running across the top of the housing for my upper control arms to mount to we tack welded had to cut it and bend it because it's 3 8 plate and uh, gonna run a piece now from these three bolt holes up and tie into it to strengthen it and that's where my upper control arms are going to go and I'll have a cross member up there towards the front that those will mount to. So. Okay this is what we've come up with so far. We've got the top plate tacked and we built this outrigger here that bolts into those factory bolt holes on the rear end. We'll be trimming that corner so it doesn't look so goofy but uh, Gonna take it off and weld it all up, and hopefully when we get done, it still fits on there. Okay, this is uh, finished for now because it's getting late and getting cold in the shop. Got all the spots where we scored it to bend it, weld it up solid. Got this little ear folded over. Three bolts in the front, which we will be cleaning up those corners, and all this will get cleaned up and painted once I get my mounts built for my control arms. I'm going to be trying to go with a triangulated four link in this car. So we'll see how that goes. Alright, it's been a few days. I got some parts in for the Chevette. I got some uh, airbags. I'm not sure if those are going to work. Um, a universal mounting kit for those. Got a universal triangulated four link kit with uh, all sorts of different brackets. <clears throat> Not sure how all these work. And some nice looking control arms with the urethane bushings so I don't get to worry about it making any noise with the Himes joints. So hopefully we can get start getting that put in. Maybe have this thing rolling again. Okay, I've got the lower control arm mounts tacked onto the axle there. And we've got that side tacked in on the front. Now what I had to do is cut the brackets down. Because this is a universal kit for something I'm assuming with the full frame under it. This is what the brackets started out. And this is what I cut off. I cut the back up tall so I can weld it all the way around and hopefully add some more strength. But I got this one marked out. I'm gonna use a little Chinese plasma cutter and try to cut this one out and get the other bar tacked into, into place. We've got uh, one of the upper links tacked in and the front mount on the other link tacked in. We just got this link here shortened because they come 24 inches long, which was too long for me on the top. So hopefully these will work all right being this short. And if they don't, we'll think they should have. We're gonna get this one tacked together and get the whole thing in there so we can look at it with all four links on it. Here are the top bars. Everything's still just tacked in. I had to make a bracket for that side so it would drop down and meet that plate we put on. 
But we got our cherry picker hooked to the frame rails and we're gonna jack it up and see how she flexes. Try to simulate some uh, axle droop. Hopefully nothing falls off. What chain? Right there. Oh, go nowhere. I don't think we're picking anything up. I think we're into the tires. Yes, we're in the tires in the front. It's going to make changing tires very difficult. Yeah, you're just jamming the tire into the quarter. There it is. We got the car in the air. Got the four link tacked in last night, working on it tonight. Got this airbag tacked in on top of the axle. <clears throat> we welded a stud to the axle housing just to center the bottom of it. We're getting ready to cut some gussets out of this eighth inch plate. And we're gonna lay them right in here, little triangles to keep the force on this. Get that done, see what that looks like. Okay, this side here we got the plate tacked on. This side here we've got the gussets tacked on, just some triangles there to add some add some strength into that since it's not directly under the axle tube. Got these cut out here with the plasma cutter. They're just gonna sit in there just kind of like like that. Wherever they fit. So we will see it when it's all done. All right, got this side gussets tacked on. Got the bags sitting in there, just to show them. Only thing left to do before this thing can all be torn apart to uh, finish weld everything and get everything painted up will be the shock mounts, because these lower brackets have holes in them for, uh, for the shocks already. So I'll just have to figure out the top mount and what kind of shocks I'm using. But uh, that's where it's at right now. I'm pretty happy with the progress. So, keep you updated. Okay, wrapping it up back here in the back. We just got our shocks mounted. We just put a bolt through the uh, brackets that came with the four link kit there and cut out some triangles. I didn't record anything because it was just trying to get these on here so we can get this thing torn apart and welded. But uh, those are some shocks that were originally bought for the green Volvo that you can see in some of the other videos that never made it on there. But they look like they'll work pretty good on here. So next step for this project will be to tear this whole thing apart and finish welding everything and get it all cleaned up and painted. But probably save that for another video. So like and subscribe and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.